Are you hungry? <coughs> yeah. You're hungry. <coughs> what a good dog. <coughs> but I was just looking at your water here, buddy. You got some problems with your water. We got a lot of bees. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Get out of there. <laughs> He's going to get stung. I've seen Dodger's gotten stung on his nose before. Dodger, Dodger. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he doesn't care too much if he gets stung on his nose, but man, I don't want that for him. I don't like it when they die in here, so I'll, I'll, I'll rescue them if there's one or two, but that's a lot. Like, I don't want to mess with that too much. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's go feed you. Well, it's windy out here, so I'm gonna give this a shot recording this, but uh, these are the new pills I got for the dogs. It's mostly for a doctor, obviously, to help his leg. And uh, you'll see an update here about his leg fairly soon. I gotta order something for him. So that'll be, that'll be fun. <laughs> Fish oil, and uh, these are like chondroitin, glucosamine pills. These are both from uh, Costco. This is like 33 bucks. That, that'll that be about a half a year for Dodger, but I'm gonna split them up and give them to Echo too, so that's only gonna last me probably three months. Okay, easy, easy, easy. And then this was like, I think it was like 16 bucks for 400 pills. And um, I gotta look and see what the doctor said to give him, but I've just been giving them one each for starters. They like them too, here, watch. They kind of, oh, actually, they're kind of getting soft in here. Oh, crap. I guess I'm going to have to store these in the trailer rather than in the truck. And they kind of pop in the dog's mouth. It's like uh, one of those gums with the soft center. Echo. Good boy. You can hear it pop. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, wait. Just wait. These are all my socks that I just cleaned, I just washed. I should probably do a video at some point and show you all how I actually do my laundry in the trailer. It's pretty cool. It does use a little bit of power, uh, so I need to run the generator for that. But um, it's always nice to have clean socks. That's like one of the best things to have clean. Because I wear, I use a lot of socks. These are the darn tough socks. Check out the description, I'll put a link in there. These are the best socks. You should definitely get these socks, whether you're doing hiking or they even have running socks and things like that. Um, what I do is like when they start to get holes in them, they let you send them back and then you get a brand new pair. Like this one's kind of getting a little bit worn, but I'm not gonna send those back. It's not worn enough. Actually, they're holding up pretty good. I mean, they're, they're really good socks. That's the thing is they actually last a pretty long time and they're, they have some wool in them but they're not completely wool. But I mean, they're seriously, they're the best socks. You can see all my socks are darn tough socks. You can get all these different colors and then different thicknesses. And like, these are the short ones. So I'm getting kind of random here, but I wanted to talk about the fish oil. And what I'm learning is it said on here, it said like store it in a cool place. And it was in the truck and it was only like 80 degrees today, but they're, they were kind of soft. I think if it was 90 degrees out, they'd they would melt and I'd have a big clump of nasty fish oil. And I can take these too. So I think I'm gonna start taking these myself. And that just makes it easy because I'll just take the same vitamins I give the dogs. I'm probably gonna buy the human grade um, glucosamine and then I can give that to the dogs too. And so I'll just be taking the same pills. It'll be really easy. Oh, it's windy. I don't think this audio is gonna work. So we're gonna go in the truck and get out of the wind for a second. Maybe this is what I should do. Like when it's windy out, it's windy a lot and I can't record 
audio. I think I need to get a some sort of microphone system. They have these like little clip-on ones. And that would work perfect. It goes right there. They like to come in the truck. Um, it's funny because we were on that trip yesterday taking Dodger to surgery. And I still haven't filled you all in on what actually happened. And more than one thing happened. So I'm still kind of recovering, like mentally, basically. I had a really good day today. I just kind of chilled out. I slept really good last night, which was awesome. Um, and so there's some good news actually. And then, but we have a new problem now that I got to deal with. Um, so I'll talk about that in hopefully in the next video or two. <sighs> the dogs sat in here all day and we did get out a few times. You know, I let them out a few times, but it was just in parking lots. And so they're just like, you know, the little islands that are in the parking lots in Arizona, it's just rocks. So it's not very exciting or anything. And that's where they have to just get out and walk and poo and pee. And like in the Walmart parking lot, um, at the, at the vet office, it was just little rocky areas. So nothing fun for them to do. And so they were just good riding companions basically the whole time in the truck. Dodger sits up here right where I'm sitting in the passenger seat and Echo always sits back here in the back. And he is such a good dog back there. He is such a good dog. I even got, uh, well, here, let me show you. <laughs> Yesterday I went to Costco and I got a whole pizza. And so that's what I'm gonna eat right now. I got dashboard pizza, which is a, a really good nomad tip. I'm sure all of you employ that at some point. You know, you can stick your food on the hood of your car, but then bugs will get to it sometimes. So I like to put it in the dashboard. And I have this uh, this reflector here, which is, you gotta have a reflector. This is like one of the best things I have. For when you're in the desert or even when you're in the woods, like if the sun comes and it, it'll just heat everything up in here. So it's so nice to have those. But it also allows you to make really good dashboard pizza. So this didn't get... It didn't get all melty. It's just not quite hot enough yet. But I did some dashboard pizza earlier today for lunch. And uh, it was all melty and, you know, it's like, it gets all greasy. It's so good. <laughs> so I went to Costco. I got this whole pizza and I set it right here on this, this bin of like extra stuff that I have here. Like just kind of like my storage area. And I set it in here and then I went inside a couple stores. Um, like I picked up some dog food for the dogs in Phoenix because it's they have like special dog food and you can only get it in certain places. So it's kind of hard to come by. So I took advantage of that. And while I was in the pet store, I was like, man, I hope the dogs don't get to it. Dodger's done that before. I've left pizza out and I forgot about it. And he'll open the lid and just get inside there and just demolish the pizza. He ate like a half a pizza once. I was so upset when I was getting dog food too for them. That's right. That was like in New Mexico somewhere like a couple of years ago. So Dodger was back here guarding the pizza basically and they didn't touch it they're so well behaved i mean they're so good when we're doing our things and we have our routines and they they listen to me and they're not listening to me like even to be obedient towards me i feel like they're listening to me because they know i'm telling them something that's good for them like i like dodger was just trying to run around um and he's got his injured leg and he's not supposed to run so i have to tell him i'm like no buddy you got to calm down you got to and he looks up at me like why why and then he's like, well, I guess I shouldn't run. But he's not like scared of me. I'm not, you know, I'm not yelling at him. I just kind of tell him what to do and he listens. I guess that's kind of, that's kind of one of the things that happens when you're with your dogs 24 seven. I mean, we live together. We sleep together. A lot of times we're all three in the same bed. We're always around each other. This is how we live. And so we're always together. So we have this like kind of communication thing worked out you know between human and, and dog and I really really like that so I use a lot of hand signals and of course my voice um, so I have you know words that I use that mean certain things and then the hand signals come in really helpful especially for Dodger because he doesn't have the best hearing so I can signal to him from a distance and then I also have like a couple whistles that I use to get them basically to come to me from a distance which do that doesn't work for Dodger anymore because he can't hear that but Echo's really pretty good at that so I'm going to go eat this pizza and 
I got a lot to talk about in uh, whenever I feel like kind of pouring my heart out about that day. It was a, you know, it was a rough nomad day for me, one of the roughest. But at the same time, you know, it I did handle it pretty pretty good. I didn't like get upset, but I was like, oh, this could get really hairy really quick. So I have some things to figure out, and um, I'll spill the beans on all that, <laughs> and uh, an update from for uh, Dodger because y'all are gonna be really interested in that. Um, I'm pretty excited about what's going to happen for him. Um, so stay tuned for that. <laughs>